Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Leading Las Vegas. I'm Danielle Ford of DanielleFord.com where visibility makes a difference and one woman to know here in Las Vegas <laughs> is Galit. She is amazing. I met her about maybe six months to a year ago and since then I've just been following her and watching her do so many amazing things in the community and things that are impacting the world, which we'll talk about. Um, so thank you so much for being on the oh, show. Thank you for that introduction. Like, you want me to start crying already? Yes. <laughs> it's great for ratings. I know, and I'm <laughs> such a crier, so you'll probably get it anyways. Perfect. Uh, so the one thing I wanted to bring you on, because I, I interview a lot of leaders, and everyone is, like, super inspiring. Just so wonderful. Oh my gosh, I'm like, just like, I look at like all the people I've interviewed, I'm like, how is this real life? But anyway, you, that's what you do is empower people, right? So these people are like empowered because they've just done all these things, but you like have fine tuned, figured out how to take a woman and just empower the crap out of her. <laughs> and so I was hoping you could, if you're cool with that, give some, maybe some like basics if Absolutely. a woman is feeling disempowered, what to do? Yes, and I really want to, I, I thought about this on the way here today, and I was thinking how do we almost do the elevator speech of how do you empower yourself? And right. the number one thing that came to me is believing in yourself. That totally. really was the first thing that came to me. What is the common denominator between so many women that I work with or talk to or reach out? A lot of times they don't believe in themselves, and I know that's a total general statement, but it can be specifically related to only one thing that they want to do, or one thing they dream about being. So for me, the number one thing is look at yourself and say, honestly, when was the last time you looked in the mirror and said, I believe in me? Mm -hmm. That is so powerful. So the first thing I would say is, if you don't feel empowered, and we're normal, we're natural, I don't feel empowered lots of days too. I spent the day yesterday going and finding inspiration for myself. We're constantly doing that, right, Danielle? You have to for give, ourselves. give it away to yes. people and you're like, I need to refill. Yeah, so I refilled just yesterday hearing the most amazing people speak about the things they've gone through in their life. And so I want you to first say, I believe in me. Now, if you don't believe in yourself and you don't really believe it, it's okay. But at least that's a starting that's point. That's a good thing, yeah. Yes, that's the first place I would start. The second thing that I would do is I would really look at who is around you that supports you. And we know that's a big one, especially with us ladies that are in Las Vegas. We support each other. I was just telling Danny that I feel like I've entered into the sisterhood of women that just are there to pick each other up in these organizations that we're involved in and you reach out you're like, hey you want to be on my show well yeah i feel <laughs> honored and she's excited and it just works so definitely look at who is your support system now your support system doesn't always have to be the people that are closest to you if you don't have them find them they are out there. As much as you might think that there are women out there that are cutthroat, women out there that want to see you fail, that is not true. I have had nothing but women that have lifted me up in my years and years of entrepreneurship. And I think that's because I searched for them. Yes. You know what's really interesting? Um, I just was feeling like this, okay? So I'm not declaring right now, but I kind of told you something I have in mind. Yes. Doing. Yay. So what's interesting about this thing that I want to do is my initial thought process when I thought about the declaring it or whatever, and I thought about the people who would be like, oh, who are you? Yes. And then I thought about the people that would be like, that is awesome, go for it. And it's the people that like aren't doing cool things in their lives or with the world that gave me that anxiety of like trying to explain yes. to myself. And it's the people like you and other like women who are just like, awesome and doing all this cool stuff that you respect that I could have seen like yeah go for it of course you should do that oh my response was and we're not going to share what it is today but my response was well yeah like, of obviously. course for me it was so obvious that that was the next step for you and that could also be part of what my gift is that I can see these visions almost in a sense for women that reach out to me and say hey this is what I want to do I've always dreamt about this but I don't know how and that vision I go I can completely see you doing that. Yes. And I'll never tell a woman that if I can't, but in all honesty, if there's something that you believe that you're meant to do, and I had a woman come up to me the other day, she goes, how do you know what you're supposed to do? I said, reach out to me, I'll help you figure that out. <laughs> yeah. There's a way to know, but trust me, you know it, it's just sometimes when it's right underneath our nose, we don't have the ability to recognize it. 
So when you keep telling people, oh, wait, I want to do this, for them, if they think it's second nature, for you, you're still second guessing yourself. Right, and you have to have, like, I think that's two things, believing in yourself and the support system go hand in hand because you're not going to believe in yourself unless someone else is going to be like, yeah, or you know that someone else will say that. Yes. There's so many successful women that are, like, awesome that I can see doing bigger things, but they don't believe in themselves. Yes, and I think the main piece in all of that is it's so important to recognize that you don't have to know how. The how seems to be such a big piece of so many people's why I don't do it. Now, don't get me wrong. Fear and resistance is a huge one. Mm -hmm. I, I encounter that a lot, and that is definitely why you don't feel like you're empowered. But when you look within yourself, one of my favorite things to share, one of my biggest secrets that I share with all my clients is... I love it. You can watch the rest of this amazing interview at LeadingLasVegas.com.